Hello, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we're going to be looking at how to add gold foil text to your Squarespace website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download a gold foil picture. So you'll see what I have one already downloaded here. You can either purchase one or download it for free. I'll link below some of the websites that you can do that. Just make sure that you name it something relevant um, and that it's not too big. I have it set at 150 and 100. You may want it a little bit bigger or smaller depending on the pattern. That's something you're going to want to play around with. Just make sure that it's not too big or it will slow down your website. Um, and for SEO purposes, you want it quite small. So once you have the picture that's gonna form the color, the pattern of the background of your text, you need to actually add text to your site. So go to the page that you would like it, click edit, and we're actually going to add it in a code block, not a text block. So click, select the code block, and then you're gonna type in the text. So if you want it to be a heading, you can select, for example, heading one, And in the first heading one tag, you're going to put class equals, and between two quotations, name it something that represents the class. So I'm going to put gold text. Remember what you call that because that is going to affect what you um, use in your CSS to call this up. So this is the name or the class that we're going to assign to this text. Okay, so make sure you remember that. If you want it to be uh, heading two, you can change these to heading two. Um, you can change them to heading three or P for body text. We're going to use heading one. Click apply. And there I have my text. It's not yet gold because we haven't applied the picture to it. So in order to upload the picture to our media, in the text box, just write some random letters, highlight them, and click link. And this opens up like your media folder. So we're going to files, and we're going to add your picture. This is my gold foil picture. Okay. And remember exactly what it's called. So gold foil, no spaces or hyphens or anything, just goldfoil.jpg. Okay, add link. And then you can delete that link because that file's in your media folder. We no longer need this. Okay, click save. I'm going to go to design, custom CSS, and I'm going to copy and paste the following code. Now there's a couple things that you're going to need to change in order to apply it to your situation. So first here, you're going to change name of class to what you actually called it. So we called it gold text. Make sure you have the dot here before it. Um, next to color, I have it a gold color just in case something happens to the picture. I still want it to show up with this gold. Right now it's just disappeared because this doesn't exist. Um, but you're going to want to put some sort of color in there that matches your site. Um, so that if for whatever reason, when it's opened up um, on a different browser or something and the picture fails, that it has a color that still matches your brand. Okay. The last thing you're going to want to change is this link. So if, you, if your site is live, use your actual domain name here. If it's not live, you can use this section of the URL here. So I'm going to copy that, I'm going to paste, and then you still want to keep the slash s slash, and I'm just going to change the word picture to what I actually called it. So we called it gold foil, no um, spaces or lines, and this was the name of the picture that I uploaded, and you'll see that my text is now gold. So that is how you add gold text to your Squarespace website. You only have to do this section once. If you want to add gold into other sections or have other things be gold, 
then all you have to do is add that class, use the code block, type in what you want the text to be, and add this class to each section, and it will automatically apply this uh, CSS to that whatever you've tagged as bold text. Okay. You can play with the pictures. Um, you might have to play with different gold pictures that you uh, that you find. Um, you can do this with other patterns, so flower patterns or um, metallic other colors and things like that. Um, just be careful that the text you choose has to be quite you know thick in order to see the gold. Um, and depending on the pattern, you'll have to play with the image size and also the pattern itself. You don't want it to be too busy, um, or else you won't really be able to tell what the pattern is. It will just like look like a blurry sort of color. Um, so you may have to play with that a little bit. But the process is still the same. So you use a code block, upload the picture, and then just change the name of the class, the background color to match your brand, and the URL where the picture can be found.